All right, start off by making a new level sequence. Name it whatever you want and save it. And go to your content browser to the mannequin animations. I'm just going to drag the idle out. Go back to the sequence. Click add actor to sequence and add that animation. And now I'm going to start adjusting where the arms are because I'm just going to make a simple drinking animation here as an example. So I'm just going to bring the arms in a bit. So that way it's more like they're just standing instead of just in a pose. And this is going to be how my animation starts. So scroll up here and you can add the key right here. And you can close this here and select that key. Control C and Control V and I'm going to put it at the end because I want it to end the same way it started. Then I'm going to go to about 30 on the frames here. And I'm going to start making my drinking animation by adjusting the arms, bringing them up. I think that looks good, just a little bit more here. Yeah, that's good there. So I'm going to again add the key. Then I'm going to control C to copy this pose again and drag it out towards the end here, at about 105. I'm going to paste it with control V. Then I'm going to adjust it a little bit more so the animation is a bit more alive instead of just statically holding it there. And that should be good there. I'm going to add the keyframe again. And now I can bring it to the start and click play and see what it looks like. And when you're happy with your animation, just go over here on the left side, select your animation here, right click, bake animation sequence, save it to whatever folder you want, and then name it whatever you want. Click OK and export to animation. Now if you go into your content browser to wherever you saved it, you have a new animation. Thanks for watching.